Praise the Lord, how you doing, hey, amen? This is uh, Pastor Houston, hey, amen, coming to you by the Coming back to you tonight, hey, amen, to say, you know, thank God for his mercy and grace, truly thank God for all he has done. And truly, I'm coming to you today, hey, amen, to talk to you about something very exciting today. We're going to talk about the blessings of Abraham. The blessings of Abraham and how he has became the father of faith. Uh, you know, and it was through his righteousness that he had became the friend of God. And we know we have a song out there by Israel Halton and then the new breed said, I'm a friend of God. But you know, if I had the opportunity, I would probably change the lyrics of that song. Because <laughs> I heard one pastor say, I would change the lyrics of that song. I am a son of God. Amen. We know that Jesus said that that Jesus said, I called them friends, but when you are born again of the water and of the spirit, and when you feel with God's spirit and you feel with his nature and you feel with his power, you are no longer a friend. You are now a son of God. And to many of them that received him, to them, to them, they became the sons of God. To them that believe in him, to them, they received the power to become the sons of God. Matter of fact, let's go to the Bible. Because, like I said, sometimes I get a little rusted in the scriptures because, you know, I've been pretty busy with work and everything. But it's always good to resharpen yourself in the Word of God. It's always good to refresh yourself and to get yourself back in tune with what God is really saying to His people and to His church and what He's really saying about you to your life. In fact, let's go to First John chapter 1. Hallelujah. I'm going to try to take this very slowly tonight because I know sometimes I would just talk and sometime and not even, not even slow down. Amen. Yes, uh, First John. First John. The Gospel according to John. Amen. Starting at verse 12. But has but has many has received him, to them he gave the power to become the sons of God, and, and to those who believe in his name, who were not born, not of blood, nor the will of flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, as we be held to his glory, the glory of of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. I thought just to make sure that we get the right interpretation of the scripture. We just don't want to throw something out there and and then that's not what the word of God said. So I want to make sure I, I check with the word of God and get the true reference for what it says. But tonight we're going to talk about <coughs> the blessings of Abraham and how he became the father of, of many nations. And it was through him and through his blood lineage, all was blessed. And even those who may have opposed him, God stepped in and made known that I am bagging up Abraham. I'm with Abraham. I confirmed my signs and wonders with Abraham. And by my signs and wonders being confirmed with him, that's why he's blessed like he is. Because he obeyed my word. He obeyed my instruction. He obeyed. He walked in righteousness. He walked in my precepts. Now, even though that was time that he had made some mistakes, but God stood on him because he became the father of faith. You know, and truly, we all going to go through some trials and tribulation. We all going to face tests and trials in our life. We all going to go through some times where we don't know which way to go or what decision to make. But when push comes to shove, if we just seek the face of God and his righteousness, he will begin to give us the answer and the solution that is needed in that very hour. Because God will never leave himself without a solution. He will never leave his children in a situation that they can't never get out of. And there's no temptation that's come to man that can overtake you. He said, he said but with it, I will make a way of escape. Amen. Because actually, actually what we're really talking about is faith. 
But blessing Abraham, just one of the things we're going to talk about that's going to bring about the subject of faith. Faith, which is the subject of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Amen. Now, we know that Abraham was the portrait of faith. He was also the founding father of all those who received the promise of the Canaan land of spirit. And we know it was his obedience that our nation was blessed and shall be blessed and will be blessed. Abraham laid the foundation. He laid the groundwork in which all them that's in his blood lineage and generation to come will inherit the promise of God, which was by faith and obedience. And God has granted him the promise. Let's go to Galatians 3, 13, and 14. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, 14. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. It is written, Curse is everyone that hangeth on the tree, and that the blessing of Abraham may come on the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. It said, Cursed is the one that's hanging on the tree. Jesus wasn't cursed, but we was cursed. We had death penalty hanging over us. We had death in our view. Because Jesus paid the price. He died on the cross, gave his life, shed his blood. Because of the shedding blood of the atonement that he made on Calvary, he became. He took our curse, our sickness, our disease, our miserable self to the cross. When that should have been us there, but he became cursed in order that we may be blessed. He died that we may live. He that descended that we may receive eternal life. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, and having been arrows according to the promise, it was their faith in Christ Jesus that not only because of the spirit in, of the inheritance we received, but because of the faith in Christ Jesus and by us being born again of the water and the spirit and received him as our Lord of lords and King of kings and God of gods, we became the spiritual Israelite. But we also became joint heirs with him. In whom the promise of blessings come upon. Let's go to Galatians 3. Chapter 3 again. Galatians 3. I think it's 3. 6. Yes, yes, yes. Just as Abraham believed God. It was counted him for righteousness. Therefore, know that only those who are of faith are the sons of Abraham. And the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preaching the gospel to Abraham beforehand, saying, In you all nations shall be blessed. So then those who are of faith are blessed with the believing Abraham. So those who are of faith are the seed of Abraham. Those who are of faith are the blessings of Abraham. It is through, it's through the faith that we're able to receive the blessing of Abraham. We're able to receive our inheritance. It is through faith that we can begin to unlock the kingdom. It's, it's faith that will take us to the promised land. Faith is the key that will unlock your very destiny. Faith is the key they will unlock your promised land. Faith is the key. They will unlock your blessings. For the keys of the kingdom. Jesus said, For I have for I given you unto the keys of the kingdom of heaven to loose wheresoever that's on earth, and it should be loose in heaven. Bound whatsoever that's on earth, and it should be bound in heaven. When Jesus said, Upon this rock, I will build my church, and against heaven shall prevail against it, that means that we became the blessed foundation in which 